Hi everyone, it's me Saif and welcome to our YouTube channel. Are you tired of using the same old Jupyter Notebook for your data science projects? Well, if you're a Python loving data scientist, I think you must be familiar with Jupyter Notebook. But do you know, there is an even more powerful and versatile tool out there called Jupyter Lab. Well, if you want to take your data science game to the next level, I think you can consider switching Jupyter Lab right now. So what is Jupyter Lab? Why you should switch Jupyter Lab? I'm going to give you five reasons in this video that why you should choose Jupyter Lab over Jupyter Notebook. And in the meantime, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, you can connect with me in our social media. Everything is there in the description box. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, one of the things I always struggle in Jupyter Notebook is viewing the whole data set. As you know, it's helpful to see the bigger picture. The solution is right there in Jupyter Lab. For example, guys, here I uploaded a data set in a CSV file named as diamonds. And to view the entire data set, you can simply click on the file name and all the column names such as carrot weight, cut quality, color, and others are clearly visible right and let me scroll down to show you all the rows no matter how many rows you have you can easily view them all in the case of this diamonds data set it contains more than 53,000 observations great on the other hand if i open the same data set in jupyter notebook it displays in text format that looks you know kind of messy you know, difficult to read. This is where I think Jupyter Lab, you know, has done a better job as it provides an efficient and user-friendly way to view and to interact with the large data sets. Number two, multiple document interface. Well, one of the biggest advantage of Jupyter Lab is that it offers an MDI environment, which means you can have multiple notebooks, files and tabs open at the same times you can always go back to files and open whatever you need you know this makes your job easier to manage and organize your work and also if you need to switch between different projects or views without having to close anything on the other hand in Jupyter notebook you're limited to working on one notebook at a time which can be less efficient and also time consuming. You have to open like tab after tab separately, which makes it complex to work, right? Moreover, guys, you know, opening new file in Jupyter Notebook requires you always to go back to the home page and search the files, whatever you need, or click on the files. So, you know, it makes your job tougher. So, even in this case, Jupyter Lab has performed a better job than Notebook. Number three, improved user interface. Well, Jupyter Labs interface is more modern compared to Jupyter Notebooks. It allows for easier navigation, drag drop functionality and customizable workspaces. For example, you can rearrange notebook panels. In Jupyter Lab, you can move cells around by dragging them, which you can't do in traditional Jupyter Notebooks. Not just that, you can even have a second view option in Jupyter Lab that allows you to open same code or note in a two different notebook. And if you run one notebook to another, it will reflect. It's like any changes you make in one view will be reflected in another view and saved in that notebook. So when you are when you're writing a lot of coding in a single notebook, that's probably the most useful feature you can possibly have. Another option you can have with the extension of second view option is the split view option. This lets you move cells from one notebook to another notebook. When working on multiple notebooks, you can open them side by side in a split view, which also allow you to drag and drop cells between multiple notebooks. So this is another fantastic option available in Jupyter Lab. Number four, settings option. 
The settings option in Jupyter Lab offers some advantages over Jupyter Notebook in terms of customization and flexibility. Well, users can create their own themes and work on the keyboard shortcuts or toolbars in Jupyter Lab more conveniently than Jupyter Notebook. For instance, in Jupyter Lab, if you go to the settings option and then choose advanced setting, then you'll find all the infos like theme, debugging, you know, font size, text editor, many other options. In the Jupyter Notebook, this procedure is different and doing this stuff, you know, is a little bit harder compared to Jupyter Lab. Additionally, Jupyter Lab has an integrated debugger that makes it easier to identify and fix errors in your code. This debugger allows you to set breakpoints, you know, step through code and inspect variables. This can be extremely helpful when you're working on a large and complex project. Number five, the final one. One of the most useful feature in Jupyter Lab is the show markdown preview option. Well, this will allow you to open a side panel next to your code where you can see the rendered version or the output version kind of of your markdown cell. By using this option, you can easily view a preview of your markdown file without having to run the cell multiple times. You know, this can be especially helpful when working on complex projects because it will allow you to keep track of your progress and ensure you that the document is properly formatted. So that's all the five reasons, guys. That being said, there are just, are just a few perspectives that I have personally on Jupyter Lab. And Jupyter Notebook is still a good option for many other cases, you know, like you can you can choose whatever you want for writing code, but but I think you know you can consider Jupyter Lab for more often cases. And also there are some other ideas that are available like a spider, you know, PyCharm. You can also try all the ideas. Maybe we can create some other videos on that as well. So see you with another video. Thank you very much.